administration. Well, back in September, we told you there were trials going on at URMC for that 15-minute rapid test to detect COVID-19. That is the test that we've told you about that will be used in schools starting this week. Expert telling us it has a 97% positivity rate for detecting the virus. We talked to the URMC researcher who led trials for the test about what parents can expect, and Eric Hedda Cost has that story. Well, this test is FDA approved for emergency use, meaning doctors, pharmacists, nurses, and school nurses are all now able to administer this test. Expect this same brand to be used in public schools starting this week. Kian Merchant Borna, researcher at URMC, says usually with antigen tests, the accuracy is less than what it would be with a PCR test. That's a test that extracts DNA from the virus. However, he says during trials, they found this test to be more accurate than expected. The ac classification accuracy in this case was exceptionally high, higher, much higher than expected. He says the test is a simple nasal swab. It's the same technology as a pregnancy test. The sample goes in a folder the size of a credit card and in 15 minutes you have your results. So it's a lateral flow technology, decades old technology that's been around but just applied to the uh, COVID-19 antigen. Merchant Borna says with the turnaround time being so fast it makes it easy to test mass groups of people at once but there's a trade-off. With a little bit more speed there's a trade-off of accuracy but for you know the masses a large group of uh, you know students that would otherwise not be able to have a test this is a great first start. Now remember it's approved for emergency use only, so there still will be ongoing research and trials before it will be available to the general public for at-home use. In Rochester, Eric had a cost. News 8. All right, Eric, thank you. The federal government purchased the first batch of the test and will distribute it as they see fit. For now, that means schools and nursing homes get priority, and college students at the U of R will also receive this test.